continuing along with domain 5.2, we're going to start off with risk reporting. So risk reporting is the process of communicating the findings from risk management activities to stakeholders, to our business directors. So this risk reporting, we do this because we want transparency with our organization. We want to support decision-making. We want to be an asset to the business, right? Providing the necessary information. And we want to require regular updates. So in our risk reporting, if we report that risk, we got to expect that some stakeholder within the organization is going to want an update on it. Our business impact analysis. So our BIA, this is a process that predicts the potential impact of disruptions to business operations and identifies critical business functions and processes. So our business impact analysis, this prioritizes, this assesses impact at a high level, right? It's going to use things like the ALE, SLE in it. And this could be an overall document that says, hey, here's our list of the impacts to our business if X, Y, and Z risk get realized. Okay, let's cover some other terms that are going to be essential for us in the exam. The RTO, the recovery time objective. So the RTO is the targeted duration of time within which a business function process or system must be restored after a disruption to avoid unacceptable consequences. So recovery time objective. This is what we set, right? We say, hey, we need time targets. If this e-commerce server goes down as an organization, it cannot be down for more than 30 minutes because we got international customers, okay? Or especially during, let's say, peak hours, we want a downtime of maybe two minutes. So the RTO there is going to be very short and condensed. The RPO. So the RPO is the maximum acceptable amount of data loss measured in time, indicating the age of files that must be recovered from backup storage to resume operations. So what we're saying here is that if we have like a, a database go down and we know that if it's down for more than eight hours, that database is going to be like out of sync or it's going to lose, not have enough data to perform its functions, now we got to start thinking of backups, right? The recovery point objective is the amount of time that we have to have data recovery, okay? So this determines the data loss tolerance and guides the backup frequency. The meantime to repair. So this is on average the time it takes to repair a failed component or system to operational status. So the MTTR, okay? What we're talking about here is if I have a server, Come down June 1st at 6 a.m. So it goes down. And then it comes back up at 9 a.m. And then this happens again. Let's say in September. Same times, okay? This happens in January. Same times. From 6 to 9. From 6 to 9. What's our mean time to repair? Three hours, right? And we notice this is a trend, right? Like, it's, okay, the average time it takes when this component fails, because whatever for whatever reason we can't avoid this risk, it takes three hours. Now, that's the mean time to repair. What would you call, we put this on a timeline, the amount of time between these failures? So that's what, June 1st to September 1st, so July, August, two months, right? That would be something called our mean time between failures. That's the time that's passed between failures, the average time. So a mean time between failures, right? So this is the average time between the occurrence of independent failures in a system during normal operation. Okay, let's go ahead and do our quiz. So question one, why is conducting a business impact analysis important in security governance. That's going to be B, to understand the potential impact of disruptive events on business operations and prioritize recovery efforts accordingly. So what we're saying here, guys, right, in the business impact analysis, this document's going to kind of guide us on what we should do in case there is failures in our organization. Question two. What does the recovery time objective represent in a disaster recovery plan? That's going to be A, the total duration for which a service can be unavailable without significant business impact. Question three, 
what is the significance of the recovery point objective and data recovery strategies? That's going to be A, to determine the maximum age of data backups that is acceptable to avoid significant data loss. Then last question, what is the primary purpose of risk reporting and effective security governance? It's always the stakeholders, right, guys? To provide stakeholders with an accurate picture of the organization's risk landscape, enabling informed decision-making. 